Good morning, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm gonna to be putting out a what sold video, um, actually from a couple weeks ago because I just came back from my um, week long sourcing slash vacation with Robert's family. Had an amazing time, found so many treasures that I can't wait to get started doing this, um, processing everything. But, um, I'm going to be gone for several days this week, helping my sister out after she has surgery. And so hopefully next week we'll start digging into everything um, and start really going through it, getting stuff processed, making videos, showing you all the treasures. Um, we ended up filling our trailer just from the St. Louis bins. Um, so we didn't really make any stops on the way home. We had thought about um, running to... Clarksville, Indiana, and hitting the Goodwill bins there, or running back through Nashville, but we just, it was full. So we didn't, which was a very good problem to have. But this what sold is for the week right before we went on vacation, which was December 13th through the 16th. Now I'll probably do another what sold for the stuff that sold while I was on vacation, which really wasn't a lot. I think 35 or 37 items only for the whole week. Um, so yeah, my sales have definitely tanked. Um, I'm, it almost always takes several, if not um, a week, several days up to a week to kind of get back into the, the swing of things as far as your listings. I do plan on, um, while I'm at my sister's, going ahead and doing the ending and sell similar. I'm going to cross list a ton onto Facebook, Mercari and Etsy. Who knows, maybe I'll even try Poshmark again. Um, so, you know, that's my plan. But let me go ahead. It's not a really big list. I sold a lot of little, meaning things that were like under $8. Pretty much if it's been listed a while and I got even a reasonable offer, especially when I know I spent a dollar or less on the item. I went ahead and sold it. I need to get stuff moving. Um, I needed space. Um, we're going to have to renovate some more of our building because I'm outgrowing the one side of the building. And my basement, my basement is supposed to be for um, my death piles or incoming stuff. And it's, it's turned into clothing. A lot of clothing is on this side. And I need more space. So that's that's something we're going to work on in the next month is um, trying to figure out a better use of space. Um, because I don't want to rent, you know, a storage locker. I don't want that. I have enough. I live on four acres. I've got enough space. I just got to figure out how to do this. All right. So let's get to this. Now, this first screen that I'm going to share with you, I, I saw somebody else post about this. Um, one of the changes eBay made was if you go and look in your store, they now have this part up here that says how many followers, what your feedback is, and how many items you've sold while since you've been listing on eBay. Now, I've been on eBay since 99, 97, 22 years. Um, but I didn't, I sold a little bit in the beginning. I don't think I really went big time, full time, probably when my boys were little. So early 2000s. And then I, I started ramping, you know, the 500 listings, the 1,000 listings, the 2,000, you know, until earlier this year when I started this channel, I was at 7,000. And I sold quite a bit over this thing. I was up to 8,000. I think I'm back down a little bit. In fact, let's see right here. Oh, yeah, 79.19. I've been listing some stuff this week. Next week, next year, I'm really hoping to get, I want to get up to 10,000, if not more listings. Um, and based on this sourcing trip, and if I do it again in the spring, I, I should easily be able to get there. I want to grow back into an anchor store, but I, I need the numbers first. All right, let's get going. So I've sold 54,000 items since I began on eBay. That just blows my mind. All right, first item I'm going to share is one of my clothing items. 
this is Quacker Factory. If you find stuff from Quacker Factory, I had never heard of this until we started. They sell very well. Um, I've sold some vests and some Christmas shirts and pants and jeans and just anything I find pretty much sells. Um, but I did sell this sweater for $15.25. Not sweater, it's a shirt. $15.25. These I picked up at the Goodwill bins once upon a time. And I'm saying it's been several years. Um, I had them in different lots because some were plastic rods, some were wooden rods. Um, but I finally, this past year, combined them into one. Um, they had lots of issues, but I did end up selling them for $17.95. So if you see these, these are the vintage Fisher Price rods and shapes. That's what they're called. And you could put the sticks through the different shapes and you could learn colors and shapes and everything just using this toy. This was from those characters from Cleveland. Sometimes you'll see it as TCFC. This is from 1993. I think it was probably something that was sold at Kmart. Um, but this doll was very cute, 17 inches, and I did end up selling her for $8.96. These were from my online estate sale. This is Russ Sharman Bears. Maybe I think they came in Sharman toilet paper or something as a or maybe it was a mail-in promotion. I've had these several times, never all three of them. But like the, I've mentioned before, the person who we bought this estate from um, collected all kinds of stuff and she almost always had complete sets. I think this is the complete set of all three of the bears. Um, and I did end up selling it for best offer of $20. This is a Play School color changing flashlight. I like to pick these up. There was a time when I used to sell these for $30, $40. Um, the price has been taken down over the years. Um, I think I ended up selling this for best offer of $15. But anytime you see these, definitely check them out. Um, you switch the thing on the side and the um, you get a red light or a green light that um, shows through. Kids love these. This is from Cole's Cares. This is the Shy Kitten. I love to pick these up. I talk about all the Cole's stuff I sell almost on a weekly basis. Um, I bought a bunch of Coles, a bunch of Coles and a bunch of Build-A-Bear on our sourcing trip. Lots. Um, but I sold the kitten for $8.05. Again, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say I sold it for $8.05, that does not include the shipping that the buyer paid. This is Hallmark Ron Rodney Reindeer. I like to buy the little ones. Their body is like four inches long. Um, this is a larger one. It actually doesn't do as well as the little ones. Again, I bought a bunch of them. Um, they were definitely clearancing out a lot of Christmas stuff at the bins this time. And I've said many times, Christmas sells all year long and I will list it all year long. But Rodney sold for $11.66. This is Red Power Ranger. Um, I don't do a lot of action figures. I just don't know them. Um, but when I find them, I pick them up. I did get a bunch of um, Masters of the Universe at the bins. It was crazy. Things that nobody was there buying what I was buying, it seemed, many days. Everybody was there getting everything else, and the toy bins just got left alone. So it was. Um, I bought so much Littles, a lot of Littles. But Power Rangers sold for $8.96. This is Snuggle Bear. Again, I think he was from my online estate sale. These I find the most often. They're like the seven inch little beans. Um, I do better with the larger ones. Um, but this Snuggle Bell, Bell, Bear sold for $8.96. He did have his tag. Um, I think usually I sell them for like seven to $8. This is Fiesta. Um, it was a dog plush Labrador retriever. Um, he was supposed to have like a snowman in his mouth. And I did mention that because I think on the tag it said dog and snowman or something. Um, but it didn't really affect the sale too much. Maybe I could have got more with it. Um, it sold for $8.96. Again, another Coles. This is the corduroy bear. It did have its tag. 
Um, but I do really well. I don't keep these in stock very often. I pick them up all the time. And it sold for $13.45. I have a cheat sheet right here because not everything that's on here is what it actually sold for. Now this is a Little People Dinosaur set. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at a consignment sale. I want to say, I don't remember. I'm not even going to guess. It could have been $8. It could have been $20. I don't remember. Um, but I believe this was a complete set of the dinosaur series that came out. Unfortunately, when I went to pick it up out of the bin that it was stored in, the bag opened and I thought I got it all out of the bin. But I left the green Triceratops. Um, it fell out of the basket and was on the side. Um, so my buyer sent me a message this week. Um asking about it. My son went and looked for me because I still wasn't home yet. Um, but my buyer was very uh, accommodating that I was traveling and said, don't worry about it. But I did ship it to her Thursday when we got back. I did sell this though for $71.95. So I spent, I think, an extra $4 and something to ship the second piece. These were from a large lot of Playmobil that I picked up. I realized um, that I had an incomplete set of this Wolf and Knight's Castle. Um, based on the picture, I tried to pull everything out that I could find in the pictures. Still said it was incomplete. And I sold it for best offer of $30. I want to say I spent like $10.00. I got the rabbit set that I already sold. Um, I got a lot of people that I think I still have listed and I still have a bag of stuff I haven't done anything with. Definitely check Playmobil when you find it. We picked this up, I want to say at um, in a, uh, an estate sale. I think Robert paid a dollar for it. It's called a Dash Rapid Egg Maker. I guess you can make um, deviled eggs very quickly using this. Again, I think we paid a dollar and I sold it for best offer of $15. This is a Fisher Price Ernie hand puppet. He sold for $18.95. I always pick up Sesame Street stuff. Some of it sells well for me, some of it, um, you know, is in my bread and butter. This is Kelly Toy. I talk about this brand a lot. It's just kind of. A good quality brand I feel for the most part some of the early old stuff seem to have just been kind of but I think over the years they've definitely upped the quality of their product but this is was a rabbit with the green stripes in its ear and it sold for nine dollars and eighty six cents this is a, again another fiesta this was a black bear cuddle tails that was on the tag Fiesta's good about always having the name of this on the tag. But sometimes it'll say like 14 inches, but when I measure it, it's like 9 inches. So definitely don't just go by what the tag says. Um, I always, my last picture for almost everything I sell is the product next to a tape measure. Just kind of helps. I've won a couple of cases when somebody said this was way smaller than I expected or just... If you're not using a tape measure in one of your pictures, definitely start. Um, but I sold this Fiesta for $9.95. This is from Russ. His name was Bungo. Um, I find any of the plush, especially from Russ and Dakin, that have the plastic pacifiers attached to them, they tend to do really well. This one had the diaper and the pacifier, and then it had little ornaments hanging from its antlers, although it's a gorilla. And it did sell for a um, best offer of $18. This is a Walmart um, rabbit. It was 19 inches. Love Walmart. They do very well for me, especially the older stuff. And this rabbit sold for $26.95. This was from my online estate sale. I got a lot of these. I want to say there were like 12. And I made a lot. Some of them were opened, but still had the bags and some of them were still sealed. So I put all the opened ones together in a lot. I think I might um, end that listing and separate them out um, into individual 
ones because it's a lot of money for five or six of them when I probably could do just as well to list them separately. I was hoping it might be a Christmas purchase. Um, but this was the Snell from 1988. These were released by Wendy's, I believe. Yeah, Wendy's. And I ended up taking a best offer of $30 for it. This is a Mattel Zowies. They are teeny one inch little vehicles. I had two of them listed originally together and somebody offered me, I wanna say 30 or $35 for just one of them. Um, so I went ahead and sold them one and then I relisted this one. And this is the baby buggy, pink and blue, as you can see. And I ended up selling it for $13.50. This is from TV Trading Company. This is Snowflake Teddy Bear. I think there's a whole series of them. This is an 18 inch bear and it sold for $13.45. This is from Dennis Basso. For some reason I wanted, I don't know. I bought several of these. For some reason car dealership or car something or other, but I'm probably wrong. Um, this bear was 15 inches. It did come in its own little bag, and I sold it for best offer of $10. These ornaments. And I just sold two more. I did end up taking uh, offers for two of them of $90 or $95. They'll be in the next video. But I have sold, I think this is the sixth one, and this one sold for the the on sale price of $116.96. I paid $6 for nine of them and I, I've i sold, I wanna say six now. I have a few left. This is Mary Meyer. It's a vintage plush horse, very long, 24 inches. Um, it had these orange eyes. I've talked about plush with orange eyes and pink eyes. They have a collect, collectible feature about them. Um, it took me a while to list the, I mean, to sell this one, and it sold for best offer of $14. I think it's just the size. It's not going to fit in a regular box, so it probably was a little bit larger box, which, you know, affects shipping. I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar or two for it. If you notice here, I left the original price on there. That does not bother me. Some people like to see what it was sold when it originally um was sold and of course this was at Kmart. Um, it was from 1987. Um, let me show you a picture, just very cute hurricane lamp. Um, I, if it had a candle, I take all candles out. But I ended up selling it for best offer of $20. This is from Commonwealth. It's another brand I like to pick up. Uh, 18 inch frog said wild about you on the little heart it's holding in the front and it sold for best offer of $11.50. There was one day if the it, all offers, I pretty much accepted all offers just to kind of get stuff moving. This is from Forever Collectibles. They seem to do a whole lot of um, sports teams, um, stuffed animals and stuff. This was New Orleans Saints. Triceratops and it sold for $17.95. I always pick up sports teams because you know you just don't ever know if they're doing really well you're going to sell everything you have. This is again I pick up all Thai beanies especially if they've got the ear tag but not always. This is from 2001. Several sourcing trips ago I somebody donated an entire collection. I mean hundreds and I pretty much got them all. Why not? I've, I'm down to like one basket left of them. I've either put them in my booth or I've listed them and sold quite a bit on Facebook Marketplace. But I did sell this Wooly um, for $8.96. All right, this is just some more brass that I've been selling. I've sold several pieces. Um, I think the next video is going to have a really nice like $50 one I sold. These were just twisted candlesticks. Again, we bought a bunch of brass earlier this year and I've still got a box of it unlisted over here that I need to get to. But it did sell for best offer of $10. These Gorham Ariana. If you're ever out 
yard selling, estate sales, thrift stores, and you see Gorham, Ariana, definitely pick them up. I have done amazingly well. Robert paid $75. We got a bunch, a bunch. Um, and this was just one of five ramekin, little three and three quarter inch um, dishes that was in the set. And I sold just one of these for $15. And I think today, this weekend, I've sold two more pieces. I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar or two. Um, I think I think this goes to the schoolhouse, maybe. Um, but they were also used in like the desks with the little stencils, but not the second tray. And usually in the second tray, you would see numbers um, and mathematical signs. I've only seen that a few times. Um, but I did sell this for best offer of $26. And if you notice, the eye is the wrong color because it usually rotated through colors, but I stated that in the listing. I have a bag of magnets here somewhere. My death pile has got to be dealt with. Seriously. I'm going to hire help. This is, again, Walmart. Um, this was a black and white spotted rabbit, 14 inches long, sold it for best offer of $30. I bet you, you don't hear a lot of other people saying how much they love Walmart plush. Love it. This was an Elvis Presley dog plush. It was musical. Um, the sound box did work again. It had corroded batteries in that. I always put that in the description. But I always take a picture of this, of the box, showing what the inside looks like, showing it with the lid. If there's a screw, I make sure that's all in there. I had an incident this past, um, a week ago, where somebody sent me a picture of a stuffed animal that they said they had received from me with corroded batteries. Um, I confronted them on it. I did. I sent them a message and said, this is not my plush. I have a picture of what mine looks like. And then come to find out, it wasn't even the same shape of the box. I So I sent them another message and I was like, you are confusing me. I'm giving them an out. You're confusing me with another one. And sure enough, they came back and said, oh yeah, I bought several of these and this isn't yours. Yours is an amazing shape. It saved me because I had a pack, a copy a picture of what my battery cover, my battery box looks like. Even the wrong shape. Could it have been an accident? Yes. See my face? skepticism. Let's move on. This is hug fun. I, prayer bears. Prayer dogs. A lot of them are prayer bears though. Several brands. This one was hug fun. When you squeeze it, it says a little prayer in a child's name. I do really well with them and I usually get them, you know, a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar at yard sales. Um, and it sold for $12.95. I hadn't had it listed very long at all. This is from, it's all Greek to me. I find this on occasion. I'm not sure where it's sold from. Um, sometimes it looks like it comes from like flower shops, but I do not know. This was a nine inch lobster. Again, unique things sell better. And I did sell this um, lobster for $9.95. Now here's my big sell of those four days. This is a Lego airport terminal set. Robert and I went to, um, when we went on the 23 mile yard sale that we had in our town, we stopped at one place and I want to say we paid $25 maybe for three sets of Legos. And this was two of them. And then, um, I don't remember. Oh, the other one was like from the market series. But I went ahead and my son, my stepson put this together for me and it was missing a few pieces, which I did state, but nothing that really overall affected this. Um, 
I went ahead and put it together. I got a best offer of $165 for it, which I went ahead and accept, except she um, sent me a message requesting cancel because she used the wrong address. She wanted it shipped to a grandchild. So I relisted it for her, you know, canceled, relisted, and then she waited like three or four days. I was, I kept thinking, well, sh shucks, she's not going to buy it again, but she ended up buying it and having it shipped to the correct address. So that was a very nice sell for that week, right before Christmas or right before our vacation anyway. These next three are just a couple of the Facebook orders I had while we were on vacation. I turned off Facebook, Mercari, Etsy, Bonanza, and I left eBay on time away. But of course, when you have your shipping out, you know, nine or 10 days, um, you're not going to make a whole lot of sales. And I'm fine with that. I really did need the break. Um, and, you know, we'll go, we'll come back in January, really, you know, getting the store ready to do amazing this next year. I sold a, a lot of little, though, on Facebook. These are just some of the examples. This is from Mattel. It's from Thomas the Train. It's Sir Topham Hatt's blue car. Went to some set from 2010. Sold it for $4. I'm okay with um, $4 sales on Facebook because we only pay 5% fees. This I've had forever. I think this was something that was bought at Kmart at Once Upon a Time. It's from Discovery Channel. Just kind of a little robot that made sounds and lights up and stuff, sold for $5. And then lots of little people, as always. This is the Panda Bear set. I had a couple, that's why you see the number one on there. Um, and it sold for $7. And then my one and only Bonanza sell. I didn't sell anything on Mercari or, or Etsy during this time frame. This was a Pokemon Ball plush, sold for $5.95. I'm good with all sales. Um, I'm just, you know, it all adds up in the end. All right, so that's it for this. I think I've jabbered quite a bit at the beginning and everything. I hope um, your new year, I, I, I want to do a live. I've had several requests for a live. I'm going to probably ask some other YouTubers to make sure that I do everything properly and figure it all out before I do one. But I would love to sit down and just have a chat with y'all, answer questions, um, and just kind of relax and just be impromptu with a lot of, you know, information. But, all right, have a very blessed new year if I don't have another video out before then. Bye.